Uh, Ukrainian leaders were here in town yesterday over at the Pentagon for a defense industrial conference. We're trying to make sure that we get in place the mechanism so that they have a healthy defense industrial base and long-term uh, security assistance uh, built into their own self-defense because they're going to need it wherever and however this war ends. And uh, obviously the events of yesterday were certainly a, a context and background to that meeting. Um, uh, but I, I won't speak for the Ukrainians. I, I can only speak for us. And as Kareem mentioned, we're obviously deeply concerned about this. The, the We've got a, a few more weeks here. And then we're out of Schlitz when it comes to helping Ukraine with this kind of security assistance that we've been able to provide. Um, and that's just, that, that should be unacceptable to everybody. And we know that there's strong bipartisan support up there. Uh, it's just that there are a small number of Republicans that want to hold that aid hostage for some pretty extreme border policies that the president is, is not willing to, to talk about. That said, he did say we're willing to negotiate in good faith. He does believe that there should be immigration policy changes as well as resource changes, and he's willing to have that conversation. So at this point, can the White House offer any assurances that more